The Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will Day 24 The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will A Cruel Tyrant Little King Jesus is brought by his mama and by Saint Joseph into a foreign land as poor exiled ones. Return to Nazareth. The soul to her queen, overwhelmed by sorrow. My sovereign mama, your little child feels the need to come to your maternal knees to keep you a little company. I see your face veiled with sadness and a few fleeting tears flowing from your eyes. The sweet little baby is shivering and sobbing, he cries. Holy Mama, I unite my pains to yours in order to comfort you and to calm the crying of the celestial baby. But oh, please, my Mama, do not refuse to reveal to me your secret. What is it that is so gloomy for my dear little baby? Lesson of the Mother Queen My dearest child, today the heart of your mama is swollen with love and with sorrow, so much so that I cannot refrain from crying. You know of the coming of the Magi Kings, who caused rumor in Jerusalem, asking about the new king. And cruel Herod, for fear that his throne might be overthrown, has already given the mandate to kill my sweet Jesus my dear life, together with all the other children. My child, what sorrow! The one who has come to give life to all and to bring into the world the new era of peace, of happiness, of grace. They want to kill him. What ingratitude, what perfidy! Ah, oh, my child, to what extent the blindness of the human will reaches, to the extent of becoming ferocious, of tying the hands of the very Creator, and of making itself the master of the one who created it. Therefore give me your compassion, my child, and try to calm the crying of the sweet baby. He cries because of the human ingratitude because only a newborn, they want him dead. And in order to save him, we are forced to flee. Dear Saint Joseph has already been told by the angel to leave quickly for a foreign land. You, accompany us, dear child. Do not leave us alone, and I will continue to give you my lessons on the grave evils of the human will. Now, you must know that as soon as man withdrew from the divine will, he broke off with his creator. Everything had been made by God on earth. Everything was his. And man, by not doing the divine will, lost all rights. And it can be said that he had no place on which to put his foot. So he became the poor exiled one the pilgrim who could not possess a permanent room. And this, not only for the soul, but also for the body. All things became mutable for poor man, and if he has any fleeting thing, it was by virtue of the foreseen merits of this celestial baby. This, because the whole magnificence of creation was destined by God for those who would do his will and live in its kingdom. All others, if they manage to take anything, are the true petty thieves of their creator. And with reason, they do not want to do the divine will and want the goods that belong to it. Now, dear child, listen to how much I and this dear baby love you. For at the first dawn of his life, he goes into exile and into a foreign land. 
in order to free you from the exile in which your human will put you, so as to call you back to live, not in a foreign land, but in your fatherland, which was given to you when you were created, that is, the kingdom of the supreme fiat. Child of my heart, have pity on the tears of your mother and on the tears of this sweet dear baby, as we, crying, ask you never to do your will. But come back, we pray you, we implore you, into the bosom of the divine will, which so much longs for you. Now, dear child, in the midst of the sorrow for human ingratitude, and amid the immense joys and happinesses that the divine fiat gave us, and the feast that all creation made for the sweet baby, the earth became green again and flowery under our steps to give homage to its creator. The sun fixed on him and singing his praises with its light, it felt honored to give him its light and heat. The wind caressed him, the birds almost like clouds alighted around us, and with their trills and songs made the most beautiful lullabies for the dear baby, to calm his crying and favor his sleep. My child, since the divine will was in us, we had power over everything. So we arrived in Egypt, and after a long period of time, the angel of the Lord told St. Joseph that we should return to the house of Nazareth, because the cruel tyrant had died. So we repatriated to our native lands. Now Egypt symbolizes the human will, a land full of idols, and wherever the little child Jesus passed, he knocked down these idols and cast them into hell. How many idols the human will possesses. Idols of vainglory, of self-esteem, and of passions that tyrannize the poor creature. Therefore, be attentive. Listen to your mama, as I would make any sacrifice never to let you do your will and would lay down even my life to give you the great good of living always in the bosom of the divine will. The soul. Most sweet mama, how much I thank you for making me comprehend the great evil of the human will. Therefore I pray you, for the sake of the sorrow you suffered in the exile of Egypt, to make my soul go out of the exile of my will, and to make me repatriate to the dear fatherland of the divine will. Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will offer your actions united with mine, in act of gratitude to the holy baby, praying him to enter into the Egypt of your heart in order to change it all into will of God. Ejaculatory Prayer My Mama, enclose little Jesus in my heart that he may reorder it all into divine will. You have reached the end of day 24 of the Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will. Fiat, 